from Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, June 24th, 2023, Energy Update. We are receiving access to our divine rights on the pure and organic essence of the five elements and our divine jurisdictions upon our homelands, both known and unknown, by healing, purifying, clearing the past experiences, and addressing all of our actions, relationships, and soul contracts with the powers that were running the system and its laws, and by arriving in the now and being able to face the physical truth, meaning, recognizing what we are truly dealing with here with no avoidance or illusions. Once we have reached a satisfying level on these two processes, then we can also access alignment to our future self and destiny, so that we start creating a new reality as sovereign beings according to natural law. We are now becoming the conscious ascending masters. The 777 portal is exactly this. The program was designed in such a manner in order to create separation from the self, distraction, and oblivion to those entrapped in it, and it is now moving on a higher alarming mode of action in order to keep as many as possible under its control. For those who are leaving the program, a very fast process of settling, deleting, and upgrading is at hand. During the past two weeks, the external disk that I was using for many years got erased on its own with all of the photos and memories of my whole life. Both my cell phones, of quite old technology and limited space, got wet with seawater, both faucets in the house and then the bathroom in my home started leaking, and the plumbing in the building also got blocked due to work that took place in the pipe system in my area. I clearly received the messages that this was connected to my own process of settling, deleting, and upgrading, and my divine kundalini restoration, so I consciously attended all of those changes as fast as I could by taking action. I bought a new external disk, got a new phone which is running the new 5G, 5D technology, has a total different system than the one I was familiar with, and has plenty of space available. I brought the plumber and he changed, fixed all the issues. This was not something that I would easily do in the past. Usually I am very slow with such actions. I do not like fast changes, but this time I felt that fast action was needed, so I took it. I am still trying to adjust to the great force of change that I am feeling inside since the return of the Sword of Light. I know I want to be able to fully accept it, and I have support, so I feel very good. I am in trust as the sword of light is very precise, almost surgical, to what it brings to each one of us. Its wisdom is infinite, and its essence very determined. At this point in the game, avoiding, procrastinating, or deceiving the self can cause great corrective consequences, that the message says they will be final and irreversible. This is very good, but it can also be even more challenging depending on the amount of force that is needed to break down the inner walls of resistance and illusion that each one is still carrying. There is a wisdom in the unfoldment of each life event or experience which is just and precise. There are no mistakes now. Divine intelligence is at works. Everything we change, we move, we clear, we transform has a result in our everyday physical experience and this is such a blessing because now we can see actual proof of our everyday progress very easily and we are able to act accordingly to whatever needs our attention. By doing so we are helping the new flow in our body, surrounding affairs and life to move freely and find a new balance via new channels tubes, veins, wiring, and nodes. The Trinity Flame is bringing reunion between our body, soul, and spirit. Everything that was blocking the free flow between the three is being healed or removed. Our inner reunion is directly connected to our next step, which is mastery. We cannot become masters while being fractalized. We are called to be whole. 
At the same time, the Trinity Flame is bringing a very important restoration in the relationship between the Twin Flames, Masculine Feminine, in which I will write more about soon. Collectively speaking, the departure of the Sword of Light from the hands of the Lords of the Underworld, its return back on Earth, and its pollination act with the twelve waves of the heart is the very confirmation that now we are exactly at the point where the physical world will start to drastically change. This means that we are on a full preparation mode in order to be able to let go of everything from the old world that we cannot take with us into the new world. The masculine rules the physical world and he is the one who will be the protagonist in this phase. Only this time he will be conscious in himself and he will have the feminine as his spiritual mentor and co-creator via free will choice and heart consciousness. This is taking place both internally and externally. Please note that change can only take place both inwardly and in this realm through permission and cooperation from both the realm of the underworld and the realm of heaven, because this is how the contracts were created in the first place, and both these realms were holding different parts of our lost rights and jurisdictions. May the sword of light guide each one to the precise experience that they need. So it is. Ereni. Hunama anata kumara.